Today, I want to talk about something that might change the way you think about your teen's high school math curriculum. We've all heard it, right? Mom, when am I ever going to use this? Your kid hunched over algebra problems, questioning why they need to solve for X when they can't see how it connects to their future. And honestly, it's a fair question. Learning should be purposeful and practical. But what if I told you there's a math class that directly prepares your teen for real life? It's called consumer math, and it might be the most valuable course your high schooler takes. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Isn't consumer math just the easy way out? The class for kids who can't handle real math? That couldn't be further from the truth. Today, I'm gonna to share four powerful ways consumer math prepares your teen for actual adult life. The kind of preparation that could save them thousands of dollars and years of frustration. Number one, consumer math helps your kids set realistic goals. Have you ever set a new year's resolution only to abandon it by February? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Setting realistic goals is something many adults struggle with. When I was in high school, I took all of the right math classes, algebra, geometry, trigonometry. I could solve complex equations and prove theorems. But when I graduated and moved into my first apartment, I was completely unprepared for budgeting, understanding my paycheck, deductions, or finding out if I could actually afford the car I wanted. The first time I saw my paycheck and realized how much was taken out on taxes, I was shocked. When I tried to furnish my apartment and blew through my savings in a weekend, I was unprepared. And don't get me started on the credit card offers that flooded my mailbox the day I turned 18. Offers that seemed like free money until the interest kicked in. No one taught me how to apply math to real life. I don't want that for my kids or yours. When I bought my first home, I set a vague goal, save for a down payment. But I didn't calculate how much I actually needed, how long it would take at my current savings rate, or what other expenses would come with home ownership. Six months in, I was discouraged and nowhere near my target. This is exactly the kind of real world problem consumer math addresses. It teaches students how to break down big goals into manageable mathematical steps. Let's say your teen wants to buy a car. In consumer math, they'll learn to research realistic prices for the type of car they want, calculate how much they need to purchase it, learn how bad car loan debt is and how to avoid it, determine a monthly savings goal based on when they wanna make that purchase, factor in ongoing costs like insurance, gas, and maintenance, and create a specific plan with milestones that they can track. Now this isn't just about cars. The same process applies for planning for college, saving for a big trip, or starting a small business. Your teen will learn to translate their dreams into concrete steps and numbers, a skill many adults never master. And here's what makes this different from traditional math classes. Your teen won't just learn abstract formulas, they'll apply math to their actual goals and dreams. That's powerful stuff. Not Consumes Consumer Math for Real Life curriculum takes this approach to heart with projects that allow your teen to work with their own goals and dreams, making the learning immediately relevant and practical. Number two. Consumer math teaches career exploration. Imagine if you could have test driven your career before spending years and thousands on education. That's exactly what consumer math offers. How many people do you know who spent four years and tens of thousands of dollars on a degree they never used or entered a field only to discover the salary couldn't support the lifestyle they wanted? I personally know several friends who are still paying off student loans for careers they abandoned years ago in their 40s. Consumer math helps teens avoid this costly mistake by encouraging them to explore careers from a practical numbers-based perspective. Here's what your teen might do in a consumer math course. Research the actual starting salaries in their dream fields, not just the top in salaries that are advertised, but the realistic entry-level compensation. Calculate the total cost of the education required, including tuition, books, living expenses, and the interest on any loans they might be tempted to take. Figure out their potential take-home pay after taxes, retirement savings, and health insurance. Create sample budgets based on their income to see if it matches their lifestyle goals. Can they afford their own apartment, a car payment, travel, saving for a house? Finally, they'll compare different career paths and see the financial impact of each choice. These kinds of exercises help teens make informed decisions about their future instead of chasing dreams that might not align with their lifestyle goals or values. And they're doing all of this before investing time and money in a particular path. Consumer math will guide students through these career explorations with detailed worksheets and research projects that make the sometimes overwhelming process of career planning manageable and eye-opening. Number three, money management. And this is a big one. How many of us were totally blindsided by the reality of adult finances? I know I was. 
Financial literacy is not something most of us learn at home or in traditional math classes. Yet, money management is arguably the most important math skill your teen will ever need. Consumer math fills the critical gap with practical lessons like creating a realistic monthly budget. Your teen will learn to track income and expenses, prioritize needs over wants, and allocate funds for different categories. They'll understand the difference between fixed expenses like rent and variable expenses like entertainment. Did you know that if your teen starts investing just $50 a month at age 18, by retirement, they could have over $250,000. And that's just assuming average market returns. But wait until 30 to start, and they'd need to invest three times as much to reach the same goal. Consumer Math makes these calculations concrete and shows the power of saving early. Consumer Math also helps kids understand credit scores and interest. Many teens sign up for their first credit card without understanding how interest compounds or how payment history affects their future ability to buy a home. Consumer Math teaches the true cost of borrowing money and shows teens why it's important to stay away from debt. Your teen will learn how to estimate their tax liability, understand tax brackets, and recognize the value of tax advantage accounts like 401ks and IRAs. Is it better to buy or lease a car? Is the cell phone plan really a good deal? Should you buy an extended warranty? Consumer Math teaches analytical frameworks for these everyday decisions. From payday loans to -to rent-to-own schemes to buy now, pay later, teens will learn to identify and avoid predatory financial products and financial pitfalls. Even if your teen doesn't absorb every detail right now, they'll be familiar with these concepts when they need them most. And that familiarity means they'll know what questions to ask and where to find resources rather than making costly mistakes. Number four. Consumer math teaches project planning and research. Consumer math is naturally project-based, which makes it engaging for teens who might otherwise find math very boring or difficult. Here are some typical projects your teen might tackle. Planning a home renovation. They'll calculate material costs, compare quotes from different contractors, and determine if DIY is worth it. Organizing a large event, whether it's a wedding, a family reunion, or a graduation party, they'll learn to budget for all aspects and track expenses as they go. Starting a small business, from calculating startup costs to pricing products for profit to projecting revenue, they'll understand the numbers behind entrepreneurship. Comparing transportation options, they'll analyze the cost of buying versus leasing a car, factoring in depreciation, maintenance, insurance, and fuel. Planning a trip, They'll create a comprehensive travel budget that includes transportation, accommodations, food, activities, and emergency funds. These projects teach valuable research skills too. Your teen will learn to find reliable sources of information and compare offers to find the best value. They'll learn to read the fine print on contracts and agreements and ask questions when gathering the data. Plus, they'll document their findings in an organized way. These aren't just hypothetical exercises. They're the exact scenarios your teen will face in just a few years. And unlike traditional math problems with clean, predictable answers, these real-world projects have constraints, trade-offs, and multiple variables, just like problems that they'll solve as adults. One of my favorite consumer math success stories comes from a family whose son used his project planning skills to start a lawn care business. He calculated his startup costs, determined his hourly rate based on expenses and desired profit, and then created a system for tracking customer payments. That's a win. I know you might still have some questions, like won't colleges prefer more advanced math? That's a valid question, especially if your teen is college bound. The truth is most college admission requirements specify three to four years of math, including algebra, geometry, and sometimes algebra two. If your teen has completed these core classes, consumer math is an excellent choice for their final math credit. For students pursuing STEM fields, Yes, pre-calculus or calculus might be more relevant, but for most other majors, the practical skills in consumer math will serve them better than advanced theoretical math that they may never use again. Isn't consumer math too easy? Consumer math isn't about being easy or difficult. It's about being relevant. The math itself uses concepts from algebra, geometry, and statistics, but applies them to real-world situations. Some students who struggle with abstract math actually excel at consumer math because they can see the purpose behind those calculations. So when and how do you implement consumer math? Ideally, consumer math should be taken in 11th or 12th grade 
after your student has completed their core math requirements. By this point, they're mature enough to appreciate the real world applications and close enough to independence to see the relevance. The content is strategically timed to prepare students for the transition they'll soon be making into adult life after graduation. So use those early high school years to take other math courses and don't skip straight to consumer math. If you're looking for the perfect consumer math curriculum, I'll link this one in the comments. Consumer Math for Real Life is a complete high school math curriculum. Students will get an entire math credit while learning skills they'll actually use in the real world. This curriculum contains 16 different units and assesses learning through 22 real world projects. From creating a budget to writing a business plan to planning and calculating the cost of a floor in a room, this course teaches math from a practical perspective. Most importantly, students will learn that biblical wisdom is the solid foundation on which they can make every decision. So if you're planning next year's curriculum, Curriculum, I strongly encourage you to include consumer math for your 11th and 12th grader. This isn't a throwaway credit or an easy math option. It's possibly the most important class they'll take in high school. Remember, the goal isn't just to help them pass tests. It's to prepare them for life that comes after graduation. Consumer math bridges the gap between abstract concepts and real world application. If you found this video helpful, would you please share it with a friend? I'd also love to hear from you. What life skills do you wish you had learned in high school? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.